recording. Let's get going in three, two, one, go. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Rail Coon with JP alongside here for IC Cup Television and the IMS Invitational with Startail. This is really cool that they agreed to play for us here. Do want to give another shout out to their sponsors, uh, Bank Monitors and Zowie Gear. Uh, as it's really cool of them to really just agree to play this tournament. Uh, for not a whole lot of money, it was fronted by IC Cup TV, but we haven't gotten a whole lot um, so far to be putting up for these tournaments. And they're like, yeah, sure, we'll play. Uh, one of the best teams around got second place in the GSTL. If you haven't seen the grand finals for that yet, it's worth the ticket price alone just for the finals. Go check it out. And uh, we're going to see that Torch is going to be sporting the blue. Yeah, he's blue. I don't get it either. In the top left-hand corner, his opponent is going to be August as the red tear in the bottom left. Maybe August got into the game first, sniped that red, trying to get that mental advantage or something? Possibly. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure. We did see August play, I do believe, last night in the Code A GSL uh, Day 1. Uh, I'm trying to think who he actually played. I want to say that it was a TBZ, but you guys probably already watched that, so I don't have to harp on it too much uh, longer. Uh, but we see Gas first from Torch. Um, uh oh, it's gonna be that's a little interesting. I'm pretty sure that means we're gonna see Hellions because this Gas first usually means getting out a really quick reactor, and uh, that that can lead to some really early Hellion Marine play, which has become really popular in the openings of uh, TVT, because if you get some r a good number of Hellions, some Marines, and some SCVs, it's really rewarding if you micro it really well. You can actually just roll over your opponent if they don't handle it correctly. Uh, so it's really nice style of opening here for the TVT. It allows you to put on a decent amount of aggression. This map isn't too big, so you can get across the map. Like, we saw that with the Bomber versus MVP match, and I, I don't think I've ever seen that high level marine hellion scv micro i was it was blowing my mind it was pretty <laughs> ridiculous now torch i'm not sure what his uh kind of method for this was but he started scouting over at the seven o'clock position he saw the scv from his opponent august and then decided well because of how that scv i i guess is running at me i'm gonna go scout over here at the five o'clock position <laughs> and hope that he's there and he did not find him so now he's going back over to the 7 o'clock position, probably a little bit upset. Or no, he's going to go try to take the Zelnaga Tower, Where and is he SCV should just going? be going to the 7 o'clock. He's going back to his base with the SCV, and he still hasn't found August. What? Torch, come on, man. He, he are, actually, are you trolling us? He actually <laughs> dropped a tech lab and is going for a Reaper uh, instead of cutting... Well, this is a yeah. little bit different than what I expected here from Torch, but he's actually going to lift the, bear, the factory over onto the tech lab. No, no. Okay, changing his mind, he's going to build a starport on it and go for Banshees. Uh, so Torch completely blind at this point. He was going for what really looked like a Hellion opening, but that kind of a failure in scouting. At this point in TVT, you, if you can't get the SCV into his base by now, you assume it's not going to work. So I guess that's why right, he right. withdrew the SCV, waiting for that Reaper. Um, but playing blind here in this point in the game, you can see he's really messing with his head on what he wants to open up with. Looks like this Reaper is easily going to get into the base of Torch. Hellion is out. Will he see the Stargate, or excuse me, Starport? That's the big thing, and he does, in fact, see that. How many SCV kills is he going to get? Oh, he's trying to kill that mule, but it does live there with 6 HP. A uh, second Reaper is on the way. Now we see the old switcheroo here with the factory and the racks in the main. He's going to be getting some Hellions out, as well as getting the Blue Flame, also known as the Infernal Pre-Igniter. Yeah, so we can see August going for the Hellion play just a little bit more with that pre-igniter, like you're saying, but Torch does have a Banshee about half done, so he's oh, going to wow. be able to get this out pretty quickly. A, a um, Reaper just uh, 1v1 <laughs> the Hellion and won. I did not uh, really? expect the Reaper to actually win that. Uh, so that's very interesting. I guess it does do more damage against Light, uh, but I didn't know that they win 1v1. So Yeah, they do fire pretty quickly, I guess. You know, I figured... A, uh, Hellion would win that too, just because the Reaper only has 50 health. So he's going to get in there. He's going to see a tank popping out of that factory as well. That's going to tell him a lot. So this Reaper really paying for itself. He even manages to snipe the SCV on that supply depot um, because it was one of the low health SCVs. So really good job with these Reapers so far by August. Uh, he is going to have to make sure he can deflect this, this Banshee, but if he can keep the Banshee out, he's going to be in a really solid position here. 
Uh, with a reactor on these barracks, going to be able to get out a lot of marines. Pre-Igniter just about to finish. He has a Viking building to try and keep this uh, Banshee out. But if he takes no damage from this Banshee, it's going to put Torch behind. There's going to be a decent timing for him to do some damage with uh, the Hellions and Marines against uh, not many tanks yet from Torch. Yeah, I like this little uh, timing push from Torch. He does have, or does not have, siege mode, so the tank should probably be doing most of the tanking here. <laughs> I got, that was no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> but we see uh, Torch move forward just a little bit. Oh, it's some nice roasting of the Marines right there for August. The Banshee is going to have to meet its maker in that Viking, and he's just going to have to fall back because there's no uh, cloak. But Torch, you know, is, uh, well, with that medevac there, I thought he might be able to live a little bit longer in, in August, but he's going to move forward here, try to take out some SCVs with that uh, Hellion. It does fall. And now the Sloan tank is going to be left behind to die. Is it going to kill that Hellion, though? It does not, uh, as August picks it up there at the last second with that medevac. Yeah, and he was repairing it as well, so really well played there by August. Uh, like you said, it was a really good-looking timing attack, like it might do a lot of damage, but pre-igniter finished with a really nice time that helped him blow up all the Marines. Uh, he got that Viking out to deflect the Banshee, and now he's ahead by about four workers after not really taking any damage. And again, we see another sort of ninja expansion on the gold here. This time, Torch is going <laughs> for it. But we do have a couple pre-igniter Hellions in this medevac flying over towards his base. And there's no uh, no Viking out. Or there is one in production, though, but kind of back to this uh, sneaking in of the expansion. Uh, maybe that's something in the Startel practice regiments that they just always say, you know, you can sneak in an expansion and it's going to do quite well. <laughs> going back to this Hellion drop, he does get a... Uh, is he going to finish off that mule? August, what are you doing, man? Mule has <laughs> mule go, go back and kill it. What are you doing? He's going to run around here, try to not take that much damage, but now the Viking is out. Looks like this medevac is going to fall and uh, one Hellion dies with it and then the other one hits the ground and dies immediately to the rest of those units. Yeah, so he did get in there and he killed a good number of workers. You can see the worker advantage was just four not too long ago. Now it is ten. And in a mirror match, getting that worker advantage is really nice. But the problem is, Torch has this gold expo done. He's muling on it. His income is quite ridiculous. Well, August is only just starting his own expansion. So even though Torch took a good amount of damage there, he is going to have quite a long time to try and get back into this and recover. He's uh, going to be able to produce more units here. You can see he's switching over into some more Marauder play, uh, replacing these Marines with some bulkier units that are going to be able to get in there, stim, and take down some siege tanks. Still has a good number of Banshees on the field. And if he can start getting his Viking count up to protect those Banshees, he's going to be a really nice spot. But a Cloak Banshee does come in here from August, kills one Marine, and then gets completely splattered. So... Not very good investment there from August. He's going to have to do a little bit better with this next one. Yeah, now, uh, while we are waiting for this, and looks like Torch is going to move out, um, looks like I am a little bit ahead of you in the replay, so if you can tell Already. me what time you're at uh, on the left-hand clock, if you have that open, that would be great, and I can go ahead and sync up to you. Yeah, I did slow it down a little bit, so I'm at 140, 11.44 now. Uh, did you pause it, or...? No, we're okay, we're okay, okay. actually. We're, we're in sync now, so let's get back to the action here. Uh, it looks like we have a Banshee in the main base of Torch, and all the SCVs have been pulled. He's going to go for this kind of last-ditch attack, and uh, he's got some great position with those Banshees. There are a couple shots into those siege tanks, but now uh, Torch is going to siege up, and I'd really got to give this uh, attack in favor of the defense player right now, August, as there's really not Torch can do to commit to this attack. Yeah, and there's still this Banshee in his main doing quite a lot of damage, disrupting his mining. You can see he's back down to 23 workers. Income tab is still in Torch's favor because of that gold, but the expansion is now up uh, for August, so he's actually, once he starts muling both these bases, is going to pull ahead of Torch, because one gold is not enough to beat two normal bases. He does try and move up that siege tank, and it does go down by for, to a nice scan from August. R nicely played there, now Torch is down to just one tank. Torch's Banshees are going to fly in, trying to do a last-ditch effort to do some damage. Kills a couple SCVs, then backs off, so Torch is doing a good job of keeping his units alive and doing some damage, but uh, he did lose his other tank to the Banshee. Uh, this push has pretty much been deflated by August, and now he's now that there aren't any more tanks on the field for Torch, he's pushing out, and uh, Torch is going to have a hard time holding this off. One more tank all by itself. 
going to get completely blown up. And August seems to have taken complete control of this game. Yeah, there are some missile turrets now. The uh, gold-based expansion of Torch, they have chased away that Banshee. But, I mean, if you go into the resource tab, August has 81 compared to the 52 of Torch. Torch is not even really mining out of his main. And uh, I really got to give this game to August right now, as there's pretty much nothing he can do to defend this expansion. Yeah, GG says Torch. So that means August is going to take game one here on Neo Enigma, and we're going to be jumping into game two here in just a couple of seconds on uh, IC Cup Test Bug. Yeah, so uh, interesting play there from both players, but of course, like you saw, August does edge it out, just generally with a little bit better control. His units stayed alive a little bit longer, they got a couple more kills in general than Torch did, and in those mirror matches, when you can do that consistently, that's really hard to recover from as he got a really nice worker lead pretty early and just never gave it back. Uh, you know, the gold almost paid off for Torch, but he just couldn't quite make it happen. And once again, I want to see how this works here on Test Bug. Hoping Torch will win, kind of just because I want to see a Game 3 in Braxis for the first time. But if that doesn't quite work, we do have one more match featuring the God of War, July Zerg, for our final match of the night. So, of course, there's still plenty of excitement to be uh, had here. Uh, so stay tuned. I almost have this loaded up. Almost. And then I'll be good to go. Yep, not a problem. He's going to be, July Zark is going to be going up against Virus in our last best of uh, three for today. Uh, but if you're just now joining us, this is Torch versus August in the uh, IMS Invitational number one, also known as the IC Cup uh, Map Series Invitational. And uh, we are privileged to have Startail be our uh, first eight players here uh, for this series, as I'm sure we'll have much more for you guys here in the near future. Uh, but this is the round of eight. Again, the round of four will be on Thursday at 6 p.m. Central, and the finals will be on Sunday at 6 p.m. Central. Uh, but Railkun, are you ready to get this match started? Yep, I did finish loading. Uh, you did a fine job there. And uh, let me...